If there's water in the kayaks, you'll want to be sure to drain those first by removing these plugs at the front of the kayaks and turning them upside down so the water is out. When the water's out, put them in the garage so the front of the kayaks are facing the garage door. And then divide the paddles and life jackets uh, between the two kayaks and stow them neatly inside, just like that. Now take one of the long straps and place it on top of the kayak and under and out the other side. Just like that. Then thread it through the latch, as you can see here, and pull it tight, leaving the latch on top. In the end, you'll want to have the latch off to one side like you see here, and just pull it tight enough that you can still get a couple fingers under it like that. Now we do the same at the back end with another strap in this position, and making sure the latch is on the opposite side as the front one was. Now you want to get ready to attach the hook to the strap. Make sure your lines are even like this and not twisted anywhere. And have your hook down there ready to go. And then slide the hook all the way under the strap and have these on top of the hook. So the strap is going through the middle part and these are on top. That's what it should look like when you're done. And then same in the back, make sure the lines are straight and not twisted. And then we have the same uh, strap connecting to the hook in the back here, just like that. But don't, uh, don't bring it up yet. We're going to tie the straps down. Once the hook is under, tighten the strap. So you have to grab both straps and get that as tight as possible. It doesn't have to be overly tight. And now I've brought the back. The, uh, the long end of the back strap up and I'm going to put it under the front strap and tie a knot there to kind of make a big box out of the strap and that keeps everything in place nicely. You can use a, a slip knot just like I did there so that way when you go to untie it you just pull on the loose end and it will come undone. So same as the back, pull the front strap, in this case the blue strap, nice and tight and then put the tail back um, towards the uh, strap in the back. As you start pulling the kayak up, the front will go up um, higher than the back. And so when that happens, you can just push down on the front and keep on going. So just as it's going up, try to keep it uh, semi-even. You can see here it's uh, almost all the way up. So for the final position, you can see the back um, pretty much as high as it can possibly go up there. And in the front, um, you want to let it hang down a little bit because the garage door needs to go above the kayak when it opens. So just like that. Then follow that same procedure for the second kayak. So you can now see the uh, yellow one is all strapped in, ready to go. You can do that pretty quick once you uh, uh, know what you're doing. Once the kayaks are hung, uh, you can put up the garage door, make sure they're pretty low to begin with, and you can see the door going right above the kayaks, just right. And then maybe I'll bring them back up just a little bit, although they look probably just about perfect where they are. I just pushed them up about an inch, but you want to have a pretty good gap there to make sure the garage door never hits them when it opens. Then take both the strings and together put them uh, behind the end of the uh, rail of the garage door opener just to make them neat bring them down over the cabinet and then start uh, wrapping them around the hook here like this back and forth back and forth after a little back and forth you can just go in a big oval nice and quick until all the string is accounted for and at this point, uh, you are done.